The cityscape of the Beijing Central Business District. Photograph Thomas Peter, Reuters Show 2.53 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time 2.53 The Agenda, WTO warns of trade war risks World Trade Organization, WTO, Director General Roberto Azevedo. Photograph Fabrice Caffrini, AFP, Getty Images Good morning, and welcome to our rolling coverage of the world economy, the financial markets, the Eurozone and business. Trade wars are on investors' minds this morning, after the World Trade Organization fired a broadside at the U.S. and China over their deepening dispute. Roberto Azevedo, WTO Director General, told an audience in London that we are facing a crisis in global trade. Calling for a ceasefire in the current trade where, Azevedo warned that, without action to ease tensions and recommit to cooperation in trade, we could see serious harm done to the multilateral trading system. The long-term economic consequences of this could be severe. Currently, the U.S. imposes tariffs on $250 billion of Chinese imports as it tries to force Beijing to change its trade policies. Instead, China has retaliated with its own tariffs. Acevedo says a political solution is needed before serious harm is incurred by the multilateral trading system. Potentially, it could force millions of people to seek new jobs, he explained. These effects would cause significant disruptions for workers, firms, and communities as they adjust to this new reality. Potentially millions of workers would need to find new jobs, firms would be looking for new products and markets, and communities for new sources of growth. Also coming up new UK retail sales data are expected to show Brits cut back last month. Retail spending is expected to have fallen by 0.4% last month. Jasper Lawler of London Capital Group says, once again groceries are expected to continue to do well, whilst non-essential items continue to disappoint. After a strong summer of spending from the UK consumer, and a surprise to the upside in August, there is a good chance the UK consumer is reigning in their spending ahead of the Christmas period. The city is bracing for further U.S. interest rate rises in future months, after the Federal Reserve signaled that intends to keep hiking, despite Donald Trump's criticism. The agenda, 9.30 a.m. British Summer Time, UK retail sales figures for September 1.30 p.m. British Summer Time, U.S. weekly initial jobless data updated at 3.02 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time.